Hey friends, it's After Hours here at Groovy Plants, and tomorrow, Saturday, is actually our houseplant jubilee. And it's been a little while since we did a walk through the greenhouses, so I thought it'd be fun just to go on a walk. It's nice and quiet, and look at the plants that we're going to have out for tomorrow, which is actually probably our biggest houseplant inventory day of the year. We also have a ton of pottery, something we've geared up for for a while, and it's just a celebration of houseplants. Uh, it should be a fun day. We're going to uh, also have a food truck, so... Uh, something fun to do on a Saturday and yeah just a lot of super cool plants so let's go take a look at them. So first up a lot of our rare plants are going to be out we've actually really stocked heavy on a lot of beautiful specimens of just some harder to get foliage plants. Of course we always have a lot of hard to find things um, especially in the cacti and succulent house but I'd say right now like if you're into a, an elbow or I mean like golden crocodile here is probably my favorite. We just have a great inventory. This stuff's really healthy. It's really clean. Um, I'm very, very happy with the way this has all turned out. I've got to give props to my crew. Um, not only did we get two semi trucks full of pumpkins in this week, I've also been pushing fall plants out. And to do all this with the house plants too is really quite a feat. So. Just a lot of great plants, really nice ZZ plants. We have the ravens, uh, snake plants, always a good selection of snake plants here. Um, love this Kirky eye. Variegated whale fins. There's a few really special ones hiding in here. That's a big old philodendron. More snake plants. We're going to take our time. We're just going to walk every row. I brought brought out a fresh cop of the variegated saber ficus, my favorite ficus, at least for now. And of course, always a great selection of other rubber trees. It's like half a greenhouse of ficus. I need to control myself. A lot of nice palms for indoors. Um, actually good palms for indoors. Things like bamboo palms and the anthabella. Smaller fiddles. More ficus. Variegated benjamina in a couple different types here. I, I'm a fool for gold plants. So of course the gold variegated benjamina is my favorite. Just for scale you can see how loaded up we are. This is just one greenhouse. Some nice different peace lilies. Of course, I love my variegated plants. The domino is really nice. Got some nice pitchers in. Stromanth Trio Star. Really nice aglaonema. I really like this Diefenbachia crocodile, or Diefenbachia, whichever you prefer. It has this really interesting texturing to the underside of the leaf. Some really cute anthuriums. I think they're underrated. Nice white ones too. Some smaller sizes of our favorite indoor palms. And more ponytail palms than anyone, any greenhouse ever needs. We won't be short on ponytail palms for a while. Of course, you can see the hanging baskets are really full too. So a lot of nice pothos, philodendron. Some great totems here. Some bromeliads. My favorite, Elaine, is back. It's a real plant, hard to believe. Oak leaf ivy. Some prayer plants in small baskets starting to do their evening close up routine. Some flowering sarcuma, those are gingers. The 
handful of blood lilies left. Just a spectacular South African bulb. Streptocarpus. Nice varieties. Huge flowers, very similar to African violets. Some tillandsias, ornamental pineapples. And there's our first greenhouse. And a quick check through the mercantile here. You can see many, many more spiralis have come out. Our second round of spiralis. And it's pretty full in here. A lot of ripsalis, epiphyllum. A lot of great house plants in here too. And the blue flame cactus, one of the best blue cactus you can buy. And then a lot of people have been waiting on this one. We have a handful out for tomorrow. And they are really nice. We also have a nice string of pearls, string of tears. You can see all these unique cactus hanging baskets too. Ripsalis is underrated in my opinion. Nice string of pearls baskets. The price is pretty nice too. 20 bucks. Some new mini starter succulents. Different Haworthia and Gasteria. These are excellent. Some Smaller cacti, really cool stuff. Burrow's tail, nice selection there. They go all the way down. There's some epiphyllum. These guys are probably gonna go quick, but some really nice grafted cactus. There's some astrophytum in here. Pretty unique stuff. Very, very cool. Cool crassulas too. Yeah, a lot of good stuff in here. Here we go into our second houseplant house. Very nice pilea. Goldfish plant. Different peperomias. Some of them pretty hard to find. Great peperomia selection right now. Shumi Red's always popular. And if you're into the minis, we have so many minis right now. So that's a great starter size. Different pothos philodendron, staghorn ferns. More philodendrons, really nice ones. There's some pretty heavy shade back here. And I cut through here to our Atlas greenhouse just to show you some of the pottery in here. Really nice pottery of all different kinds. And as always, we have our potting station so you can pot things up. There's my girls yelling. And more really nice pottery over here too. And here's one of our potting stations. Some great patterns. And the Potter Saloon outside is stocked to the gills. A lot of nice floor plants in here, big hefty floor plants, big fiddle leaf figs over there, more pottery, more pottery. With a little bit of a desert space in here where we have our agaves. Nice aloe, and then of course the Madagascar palms, really, really good looking plants. Bird of Paradise. Prince of Orange, some nice begonias, different collector begonias. A really nice one right there. Syngoniums, large monsters in here, fern, hanging baskets.
Beautiful stuff. It's always nice doing these walkthroughs after hours. It's very peaceful and quiet. Handful of orchids. Be building up our orchid selection soon as we get a little cooler. String of turtle baskets. Nice selection of air plants. <clears throat> and Tradescantia, nice purple Tradescantia baskets. Many different calathea, a lot of rattlesnake calathea have been getting asked. We are stocked up. And the Monstera selection is fantastic. We usually have a pretty great selection. A lot of nice starter sizes if you're wanting to start small. Or if you want to go big right away, we have huge plants too. Bunch of Calicia baskets. We're out of smaller Calicia at the moment, but we do have them in baskets. Anthuriums, Dracaena. Smaller Tritoscantia, different types. Coffee plants. Some Alocasia. More Alocasia, really nice right now. These always go so fast. It's one of those plants that's really cool and not many people know, so variegated Paresquia. It's one of the only cacti, might be the only genus that has le true leaves. And money trees, crotons. A lot of nice plants. And lastly, I think we should take a quick walk through the Potter Saloon and on our way, all this beautiful hand-painted Spanish Talavera, stocked up deep. I just think these are such joyful pots. I love them. And the Potter Saloon. Yeah, so what is the Potter Saloon and how does it work? So it's pretty simple. Pick out your plants, pick out your pots, bring them over here or to the other one in the greenhouse. You can pot them up for free. We have orchid repotting mix. We have high porosity potting soil. And you make a mess here. Basically, you bring your plants. You don't need to check out first. Pot it all up and then take everything with you to check out. There's no charge for the soil or for the potting. And it's been a big hit. It's a great family activity too. Kids can get their hands dirty, but you don't have to buy big bags of soil just for a few little plants. We have this whole wall of terracotta, which is a great price point. If you just really want to plant and you don't mind a subtle container. And there you have it. That's the Potter Saloon. A lot of cute pots. Not really an inch of space left. Well, with that, friends, uh, I think I'm going to go in and eat dinner. Uh, hope to see you this weekend. Even if you don't come on Saturday, the selection is going to be amazing no matter when you come. Plus, tons of pumpkins, gourds, all that good stuff have just rolled in. So it's a great time to visit. We hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. We'll do this again soon. Thanks.